Grace Christian College sits in a 7 hectare land here in Quezon City. It is the center of life and learning for Chinese Filipino students and residents of Grace Village. And we are here right now with Miss Virginia Limtan who will give us a tour around the campus. Let's go. Okay. Okay. We have the toddler. This is our toddler room. This is for what age? Uh, uh, from one to two years old. Okay. Uh -huh. And then our nursery, our nursery mm -hmm. classroom. When when it's one to two years old, you don't usually let your kid go to school. But for mm -hmm. you, you start school as early as those ages. Yes, because we are training them uh, in advance. Okay, so a graduate is our play set, mm -hmm. kindergarten. Uh, we're in, uh, they come here and then they play, they move around, and then teachers also watch over them. Mm -hmm. Ang cute nung kindergarten area kasi yun nga, may playground sa gitna, tapos very visual, may play area, and then um, also a lot of room for the kids to go around. So graduate is one of our grade school classroom, grade one. So let me show you inside. So this is our grade one classroom. Hello. Raise your hand. Yon, dami. Who would have teacher? Okay, so Gretchen, one of the uh, activity that the school is proud of is our robotics. Robotics? Uh -huh. So, so robotics is becoming very popular now. Yes. I'm kind of surprised that they have this here. I mean, I didn't expect because I would think that robotics is something that, you know, the baga yung medyo high tech na school or kaya yung parang medyo mas modern na school so that for me was a sign of very good progress here in Grace Christian College so nakakatuwa kasi they told me that they start teaching the students robotics at a very young age Grade one palang, meron na silang idea of how to operate these machines. So it's not surprising how they're able to compete in the world level already. So Ms. Gretchen, we are on the top floor, no? and then to, uh, and then you can see our solar panel. To uh, brief you with that, we have Mr. Benson, our OIs. Hello. Hi. Okay, so can you tell us more about the solar panels? Why did you decide to, to switch to this kind of electricity? Uh, uh, before, we have the, or in our school has no aircon yet. And then we decided to have fully aircon all the classrooms. And then we decided to have the solar panel. But our... Uh, electricity consumption is still the same. How long will these panels last? The supplier told us the lifespan of this is 10 years. And then we have the fitness center. It's actually very good because mm -hmm. uh, when I take a look at other schools, they don't have the necessary equipment mm -hmm. for weight training and conditioning like mm -hmm. this gym. Mm -hmm. it's, I think it's essential for the athletes to perform really well. Yeah. Isa pang bagay na kinatawuan ko is the presence of the alumni here at Grace Christian College. So, ang daming areas dito dinonate ng alumni. Nakakatawa kasi they really come back to give back to the school and tinutulungan nila in areas na kung saan kailangan ng tulong. And alam natin na yung alumni ay mahilig bumalik dito para mag-basketball. So sports is definitely integral to their way of life. I was surprised that they're a very modern school. Um, for me, my thinking of Grace Christian College is that it's very traditional. 
it was evident with the president himself that he was open all sorts of progress in terms of the curriculum, in terms of the facilities, in terms of their mindset in integrating the Chinese culture with the Filipino culture, with the Christian culture. This school is a little bit closer to my roots. So I came from Ika, so medyo lumalapit sa San Juan. So it's nice to be able to get to explore Grace Christian College. I'm so happy that I'm, I was able to tour around Grace Christian College. This is a school of my dad, something that I feel is, is and could be very close to me. So I'm excited to come back.